Actually, making a donation to the clergy every once in a while probably isn't a bad idea either. Good harvest. Let's invest the money. Interest per annum. That'll let us go into debt to build stuff if we ever need to. Although with a uh, northern European nation like Hamburg, I usually have enough liquid assets that I don't end up needing to. All right, Philip Volmer has died. We're going to go with a bureaucratic candidate. Bold fighter. Clan leader shock plus one. We'll let our Republican tradition recover for a while. Once it gets to 100 and we have a young leader, we can... Uh, by the way, I should keep an eye on when Austria goes to war. I really wish there was a mechanic for that. Like, when, when you're playing in the HRE and you want to do some offensive shit, um, it'll let you know when Austria is at war. Denmark has warned us again. Okay. Hmm. Denmark warned you. Good. We want Brunswick to have lots of rivals because they're a headache deal with when you're playing as Hamburg. I've had Hamburg runs ended by, by Brunswickians before. I don't trust them. So we're really making shit for these other monarch power types right now, but man are we going to shoot through economic ideas fast. Invest the money! We're having some really nice harvests coming in. We're keeping pace. At, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have a hard time keeping pace in these other two categories. We might fall behind like 5% or 10%, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Mainly I want to make sure we keep pace with military, which might mean hiring an advisor. And already we can get monthly autonomy change. We're about to unlock our next uh, Hanseatic thingy, which will help us keep our Republic, Republican tradition up. Truce with Oldenburg is ended. Saxe-Lauenburg. Pomerania. In Verdun, who now has a very good general, actually. Anton I of Austria is the emperor. Disputes affecting government, damn it. Humiliate rival against Verdun, okay. But does Denmark's warning still come into play there? Warning, Saxe-Lauenburg, Hamburg, and Dithmarschen. So they could still join. Oh wow, he wasn't he wasn't around for long. <laughs> Barnabas von Duten is now our Burgmeister. Corrupt bureaucracy, great. Hamburg is now the seat of a cardinal. Okay. So are we paying monthly to root out corruption now? We are, but it's a very small amount. Okay. Um, yeah, I suppose we can go up another level in naval. Just can't go up any more than that or we'll have corruption from unbalanced tech. Sweating sickness. Um, so Barnabas can flee the city can spend every effort to limit its effects, or salvation and piety are the only answers. Uh, yeah, let's spend. We've got the money. We'll, we'll throw some subsidized health care your way. We got you. We got you guys covered. You've only begun to see our riches.
We're gonna be a we're gonna be a great power on one province. Just wait. Discovered an agent. Okay. That should be our goal, actually. Great power on one province. Because great powers weren't a thing the last time I did an OPM Hamburg run, so that should be that should be what we should aim for. Okay, let's see. Ag expansion, unrest, cav to infantry ratio, combat terrain, capital bonus. Let's just go ahead and grab that. There's enough farmland around here that I think that'll be worth it. Yeah. Alrighty. What else is going on in Europe? Saxe Lauenburg is no longer a valid rival. So. Now we could re rival Dith Martian. Hamburg is no longer the seat of a cardinal. Aww. Do we have enough Pope mana to buy anything from the Pope yet? Not really. We want to make sure we spend all of our Pope mana before the Re Re Reformation comes along. Um. Cities demand old rights. Yeah, we'll accept their rights. We carry more about the rights of the rich merchants than we do about democracy. We're just going to be open with you guys here. We're just going to be. We're just going to perfectly put this all on Front Street. Um, we're going to reject that reform. Okay, Mecklenburg, Pomeranian reconquests, allied with Saxe Lauenburg and Oldenburg. Yeah, we'll go ahead and accept that one. Gonna make our way over here. And I don't know if their allies are gonna reinforce them. So this might be super fucking easy. <laughs> Movement speed plus 10. Okay. Um, are we stuck here now? Oh, okay, that's why they didn't their allies didn't reinforce them. So I guess we'll just go siege this down. Steel now controls the papacy. Oh, it's really just 2v2, okay. We'll take you 2v2. We're down for a 2v2. Marsha no longer considers Oldenburg. Homburg is our new rival, okay. Go ahead and grab nationalistic enthusiasm. Burger Republic. Never shall our burgers fear the tyranny of a king. They all need to fear the tyranny of themselves. The burghers of Hamburg shall not allow their free city to fall to aristocratic rule. Which is good, because that allows us to keep tyrants around for longer. That's really... That's the real effect of that policy there. <laughs> the more Republican tradition you are, the more you can justify... The longer you can justify tyranny. It's as simple as that. Why would you do that? All right, we're gonna try to come save your asses. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> How many siege pips does this dude have? One, of course. Why? No, Brandenburg, no. No, no, Brandenburg. Uh, please, no. We don't want to go up against Prussian... Prussian ideas. No, Brandenburg, no! Friendlies can attach. I thought I made that clear. Why would you do that? <laughs> I feel like there's some AI bugs in this build of the game. Did they really surrender? Okay, never mind. 
Saxon Lauenberg surrendered. Okay, so we get 40 of the 50 ducats because we basically did all the work. 2.4 prestige. And we might... Wait, no! Are you serious? We're going to save the castle. And then you exiled us. How are we still exiled? What's going on? Um, we're gonna do another bureaucratic candidate. Oh, come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Chase them to the ends of the earth. Stack wipe them if you can. Good. Okay. We're gonna go back. We're gonna liberate all this shit. <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to hire mercenaries or what's going on here, but we're going to kill them. Okay. That was definitely troublesome. And we can go ahead and select our type of cannon that we want, I believe. Yeah, especially with our current general... I think we want the large Casperon's mortar. Take back Rostock here real quick. <sighs> when you fight in a war but your allies are useless. Spare no expense. We can handle some inflation. We have set up our uh, economic system to be very good at that. Okay, what you guys are doing is dangerous. And that's precisely why. <laughs> Getting yourselves wiped. There's got to be some kind of bug in the AI code. I've never seen, like, one and two stacks be this openly suicidal before. Something broke in this latest build. National Bank pays dividends. We're in the money. Hell yeah. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. We're now the seat of a cardinal. Again. Papal state is now back under control of the papacy. Pope answers only to God. All that fun stuff. Well, we're getting prestige, army tradition, and loot. That is... Like, they must think that we're coming to help and that's factoring into their calculation for going into the battle. Pretty sure that's what's happening. Stack wipe city. It's because they're not smart. They're not smart. Well, our early wars have gone very well so far. That makes me happy. We haven't particularly gained much from them, but... How is our... Okay, cool. We're about to unlock the last... Smithian Economics! Which will also greatly reduce our development cost.
Let's go up to speed five. They don't even have anywhere to recruit troops out of at this point. Took a major manpower hit there. Okay, cool. Finished it up. Our development cost in the capital is now 111. I think that's even without the estate. Oh, that's with the estate. Okay, fair enough. I feel like that's actually still quite high. Spare no expense in any technological improvements. Let's go ahead and say no friendlies. Taking enough attrition here as it is. Surprised Lubeck hasn't started shit yet. They're usually starting wars left and right in the 1400s. Siege of Stettin is over. Fantastic. We get 40 of the 50 ducats from the war. 4.6 prestige and 4 power projection. Mecklenburg now owes us 25 favors. And they took two more provinces. Well, they might become a regional power. Thanks to us. Let's see if we can do some, some trust maxing. Who else are we allied with right now? Uh, Bremen. Nope, we don't want to take Bremen. We just want to talk to Bremen. So all of our allies trust us fairly implicitly. Manpower needs to recover. We will take that. We definitely uh, we lost lost some good men in that war. Brandenburg, please unrival us. Please, Brandenburg. Please, we don't want to be your enemy, Brandenburg. Uh, yeah, let's go with the new bureaucratic candidate. He's just, which is nice. Mecklenburg wants us to come to their aid in the Brandenburgian conquest of Griesfeld. Against Brandenburg and Ansbach. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Allied with Poland, Anhalt, and Bohemia. Can we see who's involved in the war so far? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Brandenburg, Ansbach, Anhalt, Poland, and Lithuania. So that's going to be a definite no. That is going to be a definite no. Um, sorry, Mecklenburg, but uh, that is going to absolutely be an absolute fucking no. Um, anyway, <laughs> kicking them to the curb will allow us to support the independence of Sweden. Which is something that we have a vested interest in doing. Let's go ahead and improve our relations with them. Their liberty desire is at 100%. So we can finally be rid of the tyranny of Denmark. Uh, yeah, we don't really need a dock in Hamburg. We're not low on sailors. These guys are doing their thing. That's good. These guys are mothballed. That's good. Saint performs miracle. Um, we have truly been blessed. That's what I'm gonna say. 